Hello there, I am Giant Grove with more Pokemon and Mobile. In the last part, we got through the, Ash, the rest of the um, Route 113, and then we headed down to Farber Town. We sold a couple items, we met them, moved to all that, sold nuggets, all that good stuff. Then we went a little bit west, and we got the TM for Dig, and we got the TM for Roar. Then we went south, and we went through a little bit of another route, or the same route maybe. I don't know, I don't know my routes well in the Pokemon games, but yeah. And now we're right here, on this mountain side, so... Let's take out this double battle. Let's just get this party started, man. Yeah, so we got Hikinicker. We got Hikinicker. Yeah, that's that's the um combination of the two trainer types. But um we got Picnicker and we got Hiker. So the camper. Okay, I was right the first time. Picnicker. Geodude and Lombre. Okay, let's see what I have. I forget who I run. Okay, Knight and Pelper. Um. I guess we can use. We use Metal Claw on the G Dude and we need Tackle on the Lombre. Now, this might not faint the G Dude, but that's okay. Oh, so close. This should definitely faint the Lombre. There we go. Called it. There goes the Lombre. And we get some experience and a Metal. Nice. Rockthrow, okay, that's super effective on Peter. Man, let's use, let's use takedown on the Meryl and, wait, no, 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 I got a different thing. Okay, let's, let's use Mud Slap on the Geodude and then Wing Attack, no, Shockwave, Shockwave on the Meryl. There goes the Geodude. No more, huh? Okay. Shockwave. There we go. There goes the Merrill. Let's just take down on the Nummel and Water Gun on the Nummel. Critical hit? Nice. I like it. And that's all she wrote for this battle. How much money do you give me? Thanks for the $10.08. The pull off right there. Okay, I'll keep in mind of that. Okay, a hiker. Yeah, I have to say that since there's no... Since we're in the mountains, but there's no echo, I have to say it. And say it again, I guess. I don't know. Okay, let's use... Let's use Quad on the G-Dude. I don't think this will faint it, though. We'll see. Pretty sure I just leave it in the reds. Or well, I just can completely doubt myself when I get it. And it just does the work. Oh, 27, yay. My chop. Okay, I'm definitely switching out. Let's go with Peter. Oh, so close to level 26, Peter is. Look how close Peter is to level 26. It's amazing. And we'll go for the wing attack. There we go. Level 26, yay! Hiker Lenny, haha! <laughs> nice. Nice as ice. So I'm gonna actually switch up my Pokemon. Oh, so my phone notification. Okay, whatever. <laughs> it's not that important. Um. Let's put Prime up to the front. Okay, there we go, nice, okay. And here is Meteor Falls. Okay, I'll have my pull off, so I'm gonna just put another pull on. Yeah, there we go. Here's that item right here. It's a full heal, so very worth picking up. If there's any status condition, like sweet paralysis, burn, stuff like that, poison. Oh, great. I'm these dorks, the Team Magma from my Pokemon Ruby Walkthrough Guide. Except this is Pokemon Emerald, but I still don't know who the Team Magma is. They're right there. Hee hee hee. With this meteorite, that thing in Mount Chimney Will. Heh. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but if you get in the way of Team Magma, don't expect any mercy. Hold your right there, Team Magma. You're badly mistaken if you think you can have your way with the world. 
Oh, I remember that Doik, his name is Archie. No, I'm just kidding, he's not Doik. <laughs> Even Team Aqua joins us. But it's too much trouble to deal with you all. Heh, <laughs> it doesn't matter. We've got the meteorites so off the meteor falls we go. Here, we see you, Team Aqua Dingbats. Dingbat ding bats? Is that supposed to be an insult? Didn't I see you before at Dayport's museum? And so your name is Gretel. At the time I thought you were one of the Team Agma's goons. Hmm. Hmm. You're one odd kid. Team Magma is a dangerous group of total fanatics. They engage in destruction claiming to expand the landmass. They are the rivals to us, but the sea loving the sea loving Team Aqua. Boss, we should give chase to Team Magma. Yes, yes, we must. We got to hurry. There's no telling what Team Magma will do at Mag Chimney. Gretel, you should keep an eye out for Team Rocker too. Farewell. Uh-huh. And this is a scientist dude. I'm I I'm Cosmo. I'm a professor. The Team Mag Team Magma asked me to guide them to Meteor Falls, but they tricked me even took my meteor right away. And and then another similar bunch, Team Aqua, showed up. After that I don't understand any of it. But that Team Magma, what are they going to do with that meteorite at Mount Chimney? I don't know. I don't like the sounds of it, so let's just pick up this item. It's a moonstone, nice. You can evolve your Jigglypuff with a Clefairy, uh, stuff like that. You can evolve your Nidoran and Nidorino into Nido King or Nidorina into Nido Queen, stuff like that. Uh, let's go back. Let's go down the fun way. We are uh, my fell off. This won't be fun anymore. Gosh dang it! Yeah, hop in, hop in, hop in, and that's about it. Okay. Is there any item? Okay, there's no item right there. Let's battle. Let's go. Let's go, you black belt dude. Oh, we have fighting type Pokemon. Matchup. Prime. Bubble wing that thing off its feet. It's gonna karate chop me. Or they're gonna attack. There we go, nice. Another Pokemon adventure, it's so amazing, isn't it? Let's take on this double battle. I don't have Rock Smash there, so I can't get those berries. Oh well. They're just berries. I'm just kidding. <laughs> berries are actually pretty cool in this game. So I have Prime and uh, Speedy up front, I believe. Zangus and Metatite. I think that Zangus is more of a threat. Such as Bubble Beam on the Zangus and Strength on the Zangus. Haha, I didn't even attack the Metatite. Haha, <laughs> nice. Okay. Guess we are attacking the Metatite. Metatite uh, maybe they'll walk on this Survivor, I don't know. There we go, it's locked on the Survivor. Nice. Boom and strength. It should have worked. Could have got nice. Level 26, yay. And I'll be one that matter type. Infusion attack, huh? Headbutt. You have one more Pokemon, don't you? Bubble Beam and Strength, then. There goes the Spoink. Speaking of which, I use a Spoink in my Pokemon Ruby, uh, Omega Ruby team, which uh, makes a good Psychic type. You know, I, want, I usually just went for Pokemon I never used in the original games. I never really used a Spoink until then, so it makes a good Pokemon, I guess. 
Pee pee up. And we got one more battle on this beach here. Yeah, 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 it's not your training spot, it's everyone's. I'm just kidding. Let's choose Bubble Beam on in my type. Execution on me, of course. Attack or attack. Of course, it uses attack. In that case, I use Water Gun then. Of course. We can find a Mistlay using Water Gun for the next turn. There we go, nice. Pokemon level 26 stones. Okay, let's just go to Peter. Well, guess what move we're gonna use on this Makita Wing Attack? Haha. There we go. Thanks for the four dollars and thirty two cents. Okay, fine. We'll move another Pokemon out of entry. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so we're gonna go down south, and guess what place we're gonna be in? Rushboro City, baby. I'm gonna heal up real quick. Okay, and also at the Pokemon, we're gonna sell some stuff. So let me see here. Um. Black gases. I'll keep that item actually. Um, sell the carbos. Yeah, let's sell the PP up too. I can't. I can't sell the moonstone. Hat. <laughs> okay. Okay, I still have to go through my Pokemon uh, and get through some items. I'll actually do that now. So let me just be right back. Okay, so basically what I did was I actually organized my items. Dang it, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. So like I got high proportion, let's go through to my list, you can see how it's more organized and stuff. So again, we're going up through the list. I thought it was pretty cool. So yeah, and we're gonna go east of Rushboro City. And I might as well put a Repel on one that it. So, right here's my Repel. Just gotta zip past all this. I remember going through this route. This guy. Oh, it's you. You're the Pokemon. You're the per uh, uh, person who helped me. Who not only helped me in Petalburg Woods, but I also got back my stolen package that even. That then even generously delivered it to Seaport. Yeah. Yeah, he'll give you a repeat ball, which it can be sold at the Rushboro City. Um, Pokemon, so yeah. Repeat balls. It basically is a Pokeball that if you already caught the Pokemon, you have a better chance of catching again if you use a repeat ball, because you've already caught it, so it's like a repeat. There you go. So yeah. Let's go through here. And I brought Helper along if I need to smash a rock here, but I don't think I do. Okay, I brought Helper along for nothing. Okay, yeah. So here's my pellet wolf right there. Nice. Okay, and I'll get Blaine back out. And we can head back to Mount Chimney. Yeah. Let's do, let's do that. Um, I'll cut to where that is though, so see you guys in a second. Okay, right back here, you make sure that you do have a Pokemon that has Rock Smash, so you can smash the rock like so. But see you guys in Mount Chimney. I just want to point that out, because I forgot that you do need Rock Smash for that. Here is Mount Chimney, so yeah, um, in the next part we'll take on Mount Chimney, but also in between videos I'm gonna get all three fruits like I said a couple parts ago, the blue fruit which heals sleep, the yellow fruit which heals confusion, and the red fruit that heals uh, infatuation like attract. So yeah, 
So I'll do that off screen too, but in the next part we'll start right here and we'll go and go up to Mount Chimney to stop Team Magma and hopefully see Team Walk with her. Oh yeah. So this has been Drago again. I like to leave again. Goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough Guide.